Michelle here from Spark Me Pink and today I'm going to be opening up my August Glossy Box. Now I have gotten this box for the last two ones and I have to say it is really growing on me. Like I feel like I get so much more excited about opening this box every month than I do like my Ipsy bag. I just very much look forward to getting this so let's go ahead and open it up. It looks like we have another classic pink gorgeous box and I love again how sturdy these boxes are. Um, if you're curious about what I've gotten in other months I will link the information down below and how to sign up and all that good stuff but today I'm just gonna jump right into opening everything up because I'm dying to see what's in here. I did get a bit of a sneak peek um, earlier in the month and I showed you guys on Instagram. I'll put my link down below too. Instagram is where it's at for me. I feel like I post there constantly and consistently and kind of give you guys an insight of what's to come on my blog and what's in boxes and things like that. So Glossy Box is kind enough to send me these every month. They also send those little previews so I could share them with you guys. And I actually have a preview for what's coming in next month's box. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what's going to be in the September box. Oh, all right, enough gabbing. Let me open this sucker up. I'm so excited. Okay, it feels heavy too. And everything is always so packaged, super, super cute. It says New York, Paris, Berlin. That must be the theme. I'm not gonna look at anything, so we'll put that off to the side and open it up. I love the tissue paper too. It just looks so posh, huh? Okay. So I'm seeing a ton of goodies and I'm seeing pink and you guys know I am all about pink. So this is right up my alley. First things first, this is so pretty. This is a Eslor Firming Collagen Day Cream. It's paraben free, it says. Like that. And this is a decent size. That's another thing that I really like about Glossy Box. You're not getting like foil packets. You're actually getting deluxe, even if a little bit more than deluxe size, almost full size products. It's got a cute little lid. Ooh, it looks so creamy. Make sure that focuses for you there. All right. And let me see if it smells or if it smooths out nicely. I don't want to waste it. Eye cream, you only need like a tiny little bit. So this will probably last me a pretty good while. It just smells clean and fresh and almost like um, a little perfumey. But not terribly so. And it's going under my eye. It's not going like on the lower half of my face. So I doubt I'll even smell it to be honest with you. But yeah, I'm so excited about that. That is really cool. So this was one of the preview items and it is the, I'm going to say it wrong, Cryolin, K-R-Y-O-L-A-N, and this is a highlighter. I won't open this because I do have an open one already, and it is this cream highlighter, and it's very soft and looks like so, and it just gives like a perfect little gleam right here on the top is the cheeks you could put a little down your nose right on your cupid's bow and it just brightens everything up and i don't feel like the cream makes me look shiny it does have a little bit of a pearl essence but it's not a thick dense pearl essence if that's like you can, like i put it on but it's not like a huge bam in your face and i really like this also i feel like even though it's a tiny little tub you get a lot of product in here and it is absolutely worth it. I'm really, I really like this a lot. Okay, so what's gonna pick up next? This is a Herbal Lease Straight Effects Hydrating Shampoo and I think this other bottle looks just like it and it's the conditioner. It says that it has royal jelly, fruit extracts, and keratin. Ooh, I'm so excited to try these. I am still on the hunt for the absolutely perfect shampoo and conditioner. I bet I would like like things like Biolage and stuff like that, but they're just so pricey and I don't know if they're going to work for me. I just have a hard time trying things that are higher end. I don't know. I know I could probably return it. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo. So I like getting samples like this where I could get a couple of uses out of them and see if I like it or not. And I think this is the last item in my box, and you guys know I love my nail polish. It is the spir spiritual, 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 y'all, yeah, I can't say things, spiritual, sp uh, uh, spiritual, and it is this gorgeous 
iridescent-y, pearly, sort of hot pink. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. It looks gorgeous. And I love this um, handle right here. It's kind of like a grippy kind of wand. It looks like it's going to take quite a few coats to be opaque. Um, but as long as it dries halfway decent, I don't mind doing a bunch of coats. Let's see. It says roll before using apply two coats. So they expect you to already have to do two coats there. And it is called a lacquer, not a nail polish. How fancy. So some other items that I got as a bonus or were in other people's boxes, because I believe that people get like different boxes from Glossy Box. It's still, I'm, I'm still new to Glossy Box and kind of getting the hang of it. And they also, in the preview box that they sent earlier the month, it was the Ico London Eyeliner. Now mine was pretty dried out. Like it looks fine here, but when I do it on my eye, it starts like skipping and stuff. And I just feel like maybe mine, maybe I, I don't know, it looks fine here. I don't know. Every time I used it, it kind of was giving me trouble. So I've been storing it upside down. Maybe that's why it's working well now. Um, but the other thing that they sent was the, in like the preview package that I get earlier in the month, is this Ico London Blue, Midnight Blue Black Magic Mascara that is Drama and Curl. And it comes in like a squeezy tube. I thought that was so different and the curved wand and it is blue and I have it on today. You can't really tell inside or on the camera that you can see my blue mascara, but you could totally see this when you go outside. Like I was sitting down by the pool and I put this on that morning cause I wanted to feel like funky and stuff. And my son looks up at me and goes, mom, you have blue eyelash. Is That is so cool. And I felt really funky and hip and yeah. So, all right. That it for the August box. I think I love everything that came in here on it like dead honest. I'm not just saying that because they sent the box. Like I I'm really thrilled with this. The nail polish, the eye cream, the shampoo and conditioner that is a decent size and not a foil packet. I love that. The cream highlighter and what was the other thing? Was that it? I think that was it. Hold on. Oh yeah, and I think everyone else got the eyeliner. Maybe mine was doesn't have the eyeliner because I already got it already. Um, so yeah, that is it for that box. But now that I'm looking at this, it says what's to come. And here's a sneak peek of the products to be in your glossy boxes for the next three months. And it shows September is the They're Real. And then October is the Nail Ink. And November is, it looks like Juice Beauty green apple age defying moisturizer so next month september is going to have a their real mascara plus i have two little sneak peeks here for you guys so all right so in the this bag for the september box i hope i'm not going too fast and not even making sense sorry i'm just really excited they sent um as the preview these two lip tars now one of them is a metal i haven't even opened them because i've been so excited about it. these came like a couple days ago before the box even arrived um, this is the metallic and it is in the shade, I think that's just the shade of it, metallic. And then this one is a matte and it's like a deep purple. Now when I looked at these, I was like, girl, I don't think I can pull those off. But then I looked at the cute little card that came in it and these girls are gorgeous wearing these shades. Like seriously, like the purple on her and then the metallic-y one, like I think I should just suck it up and give it a try. It also comes with this cute little brush for application. Now I have lip brushes, but it's nice that these are lip tar. I expect them to be a little bit thicker on the lip. So having their own special applicator will be really cool. And then you don't worry about, oh my gosh, this won't even wipe off. So I'm gonna swatch them out for you. And then, I don't know, should I apply it? I'm going to a football game in like two minutes. So let's see. If they're not too crazy, I'm, I am so not experimental with my lips and I should be, although I feel like sometimes when I wear darker colors, I look a little too vampy and while around Halloween time, that's fine. I don't know about the rest of the year. Maybe I'm just, it's something I need to branch out of my comfort zone for. So you guys need to give this video a thumbs up if you think I should try some new lip colors other than pinky nudes. So I'm going to squirt this one out. Oh, it is so cool. Oh my gosh. I've never tried a lip tar before. And these, see that they're obsessively, 
Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, 100% vegan and um, cruelty free. That's what the little card looks like. And it says prime your lips with lip tar primer and allow to absorb. I have kind of like a lip gloss on, so I'll just dab. And that'll give kind of a base. Probably so it doesn't like totally stay in your mouth. Dab a small amount of lip tar onto the tip of the included brush. Apply lip tar to the center of the lips and blend outwards to the lip line. Okay, so I put the copper shade here on my hand. Oh my gosh, they are so opaque. They almost look like eyeshadows to me. And then this blood purpley red. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous to try it. I'm so silly. Okay, I'm going to be half brave and I'll try the metallic one. I'm just going to apply it with my finger for right now since it's already on there. I don't want to waste it. Just so you get the idea of how they apply. Although I'm sure it'll go on more beautiful with a lip um, brush. I only squirted out like a tiny little bit, like literally tiny, 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 and it's smeared out to that, and it's coming off on my lips. Oh, that's incredible. Like, I'm, I'm pretty amazed. I'm terrible at putting lip products on. Don't make fun of me. I told you, lips and hair just aren't my thing. I think I like it. I don't know. Can I pull it off? Is it like too much? Maybe it's not the right shirt or colors. I could probably put on a little more blush. I've been really loving this one blush. It's from Studio Gear, it's Sierra. And it kind of has like a little bit of a sparkle shimmer, but it doesn't really come off too much like that. But it kind of has the undertone of the corally copper kind of. And that's what I've been going for lately. Like I use a coral copper color in my lid, or my crease today, and then on my lid is like a green, emerald green, soft green kind of color, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. Should I try on the purple one? I don't know. I have like one minute before I have to leave. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I did one finger. Look at how freaking dark that is. Holy schmoly. I might have to wipe this off. I'm a little scared to go out in public like this. I know, I'm weird. I do beauty videos and I love beauty stuff, but I am like petrified of dark lips. What a gorgeous color though. I actually kind of like this one a little bit more than the copper now that it's totally on. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'm going to leave it on. I promise. I'll probably even take an Instagram picture so you guys believe me or whatnot. But I have to go out to my son's football practice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this box and glossy box and all that stuff. I'll leave some information on how to sign up if you're interested in it down below. The code is my referral link, so I appreciate you using it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.